Hi everybody, Father Bill here, and it is uh, the Friday Reflection Time. And I'm here in the back of the church, and I'm sitting here because I'm near one of my favorite icons of the Holy Trinity. It's very providential that I, I've been given this wonderful assignment here at Holy Trinity, uh, and one of my favorite icons is the Holy Trinity. And so, I don't know if you noticed this, but uh, when I first got here, I've made a mention of this icon, and some people said they had not seen it. So as you walk in the back of the church, I'm sitting in the back, there's a couple other icons and things. There's the chapel right there, right? Uh, you might check it out, and it, um, it's pretty authentic uh, and well done. Uh, sometimes you get images or icons and others, and they are prints. I walked up to this, and it looks to me, in my humble uh, estimation as an originally made new icon. So that's a blessing to us to have that. And it's really quite large in size. Um, last weekend, I mentioned uh, in the announcements something about my mother and the Surrender Novena. And I spoke so quickly because I was so excited. Um, some people said to me they didn't quite understand or fully hear what I was speaking about. So I'd like to share with you the story, basically, in a little bit more of an expanded period. It goes back to my mother and um, when she was um, becoming ill and her, uh, her life as a Catholic, she's been very faithful all her life. Uh, we, the family, again, there's nine of us kids, um, would all say that she was a, a very devout person in her faith uh, and really lived it as best she could. Well, towards the end of her life, I'd say give it a year, maybe a year and a half, my sister Carolyn, with her husband Lance, found in Denver, in a Catholic bookstore, a card, a render novena card. They'd not seen it, and, they, and Lance, is his name, asked Carolyn, my sister, do you think that your mom would like this? And she, she thought, yeah. So they grabbed the card, bought the card, and then when they came to visit, when Carolyn came, or I think maybe both of them came, but at least my sister came to visit Carolyn, came to visit my mom, Helene, by the way, is her name, that mom started praying this. And she reflected to me when I would go to visit, this is my mom, when I'd go visit her, she lived in Dallas, Dallas, Oregon, that it was like Jesus was speaking directly to her, that God was speaking directly to her. And I'm like, that's a pretty big statement to make, right? And she's done a lot of prayers, a lot of novenas and other things, um, Bible studies and things. So that that kind of made me think, kind of stand up and think about what she was saying. And as she grew closer to her last days, she was still doing the surrender novena. We picked up her card that she had and noticed that she has been marking. And even my sister started helping her towards the end of her life. My us family helped her out. I mentioned this in the previous homily. As best we could, we'd stay with her as we could and pray with her. They surrendered Novena. She would mark off then the day that she did. And Novena, by the way, is a nine-day prayer. So whatever day it was, she was marking that off and then going to the next one. The refrain is, Oh, Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. And this is actually a reflection of a prayer or what was a rosary that was created by a person named Father Delindo, who was the spiritual director to Padre Pio, St. Padre Pio, at Petrolicina. I think I pronounced that right. Uh, it was made into a rosary. So you can use a rosary beads to do this because the, the refrain is to be uh, done 10 times if you follow the directions of the novena. Um, but then it was you know, kind of formed into a, a novena itself proper uh, and without the rosary beads, etc. though you can still use them. Anyhow, back to the thing. My mom was in praying this up until her last days. In fact, the night before she passed away, uh, my sisters helped her pray that, even though she was not fully awake. And again, O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Now think about this. If you know that your end time was coming here on earth, you'd want to prepare yourself. This was the most profound way I could think of that anybody could pre prepare themselves, and that's surrendering, surrendering themselves to the Lord. And that's what she did. Every day she was preparing herself to be surrendering herself to the Lord. And if you haven't picked one up, I encourage you to do so. Again, the focus is on worry, and why do you worry? Let go, let Jesus take care of these things. 
And then it, I won't get into all the details. You might want to get one of these uh, Surrender Novena cards. Um, and check this out and consider praying it. After my mom passed, we prepared for the funeral. And of course, being the priest of the family, uh, I was doing the funeral. And in the funeral, you know, comes the homily, and that's kind of stressful. So in the preparation for the funeral itself, uh, I realized mom is a person of great faith. You know, um, is she perfect? No, we're all not perfect, but what a holy woman. So she, because of praying this novena, inspired me to use that as the focus of the homily. So that's what I did, is I preached about the Surrender Novena and how that helped her prepare for her passing. In attendance was not just my family, and this is during COVID. I need to straighten out this here. I'm holding my phone, this is, it's kind of hard to do. Uh, this was in uh, St. Philip in Dallas. During the funeral, they could only have maybe between 30 and 50 people. It wasn't, you know, it was during COVID, not a lot of people could be there. But both archbishops were there. I asked Father John Kearns to be there. Uh, Father Mike Walker was there. He helped out as well. Some and close people that we knew. And we then gave out the Surrender Novena and cars. We pur purchased some extra ones and then gave them out to those who were in attendance, including Archbishop Lasney, but also Archbishop Sample. Now forward a couple of weeks. Archbishop Sample had a priest friend. This happened twice. A priest friend came to stay with him, I believe from out of town, and they mentioned the Surrender Novena. Like I met this, or and I found this thing called the Surrender Novena. Have you heard of it? And he had heard of it because of the homily uh, that I offered. And he didn't pay too much attention to it. Meanwhile, he had taken the Surrender Novena that we gave him and put it in a, uh, like a, a, a shelf or a, a cupboard somewhere in his bedroom. Probably where, again, I think he shares this in his own uh, reflections on the, uh, either the Voice of the Shepherd or Chapel Chats that he's had online that he's kind of kept it in that cupboard. Then the second priest friend came and, and said basically the same thing, in which case now he's pulling the, goes back to his room, pulls out the instrument of being like, this is what you're talking about? Yes, this is it. Meanwhile, uh, he's been speaking with other priests and it was introduced to the table group, uh, John Lenz, or, uh, Pat Lencioni, the table group, uh, amazing parish, he was introduced to Father John Ricardo and rescued in that book and, and the mission of X uh, 29. And all these things are coming forward to him and he wasn't, he's cautious. He's not sure what to do, uh, whether she'd really bite into these, uh, participate or move with these different movements or uh, groups, what, what's God doing? So he decides he's going to start praying the Surrender Novena himself. And as he kind of testifies, uh, everything broke loose from that point on. He felt very confident. He felt called. He needed to be doing and, and, and getting involved in these individuals, uh, connecting with them, starting a whole thing with uh, the X-29 group about you know, the rescued book and asking John, Father John Ricardo to come and actually do a mission with us priests only. Archbishop changed, his whole vision of things changed, his mission changed, and he really needed to be, and felt really close to being, needing to be a father. Um, Bob Shooks also was another one of these players where the book uh, Be Healed was also introduced to Archbishop. So he started doing his own homework, a whole bunch of things were going on. And he testified that this is all because of the Surrender Novena, which really was the final thing that kind of broke the dam, or was the last straw of some of his hesitancy. All this again was because my mom was praying the Surrender Novena, and then I preached it, and he, and he had, was encouraged by friends. So fast forward a little bit more. He decides on his own volition then, instead of the $4 cards that I was using, they're, be they're very beautiful, um, to actually have cards made by the Archdiocese. I'm unaware of this. What follows is all of us priests get a manila envelope sent to us with 10 Surrender Novena cards. And this is what they look like. You may have seen these. There's, here they are. This is what they look like. And they're, you know, they're an open two-sided card that people can have. So I got 10 of these. 
And I'm not, I'm like, wow, I feel compelled to do something about this. I'm kind of taken back by all this with the letter that's involved that the Archbishop wrote to all of us priests. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna, and this is, a, I'm at St. Anne in um, Grants Pass. I decided we're going to, I'm gonna go ahead and order a thousand of these. I thought this is crazy. I'm not one to lead a movement. But this has become a movement, I think. A movement of the Holy Spirit. And I felt I needed to participate. Well, I was giving out sheepishly the ones that, it's no, Surrender Novena cards that I had personally purchased. Uh, they were full bleed in color, uh, more and more uh, decorated than these here. And they came in different sizes. And now instead of paying $4, I'm moving here because the sun is coming in. Now, now no longer $4, but 50 cents a card. I'm like, we, I'm maybe we can do this. So we purchased, I had us purchase a thousand of these cards. And then I just said, folks, take as many as you like. And they were all gone. So I ordered another thousand. I had to do this three times so that people could then take them and then give them away. People were giving them away. And I started hearing all kinds of stories of how this changed people's lives. You know, home caregivers, homebound ministers, uh, family members that were struggling or receiving these cards all over the United States and elsewhere. And it just took off. So a couple of weeks ago, and by the way, the whole Acts 29 group we engaged in, the priests have been doing continued formation. We did uh, a, this last, or two weeks ago, I was at a priest convocation and we had, um, a priest come and offer us reflections about discernment, so Ignatius discernment. Timothy Gallagher, Father Timothy, Tim, Father Timothy Gallagher is his name. And this is all part of this. And Archbishop Sample had shared several times with us some of his own wounds and hurts. And he did again the same thing at this convocation with us, again, something new to us where he's, he's laying himself bare and, and, and sharing his heart with us. I wanna encourage you to pray it yourself. And it's not one of those um, novenas where if you miss a day, you don't get an indulgence, that kind of thing. I'm not even concerning myself with the idea of indulgences, but concerning myself with, are we encountering the risen, the crucified and risen Lord? And are we finding that that encounter removes our worry? Are we truly surrendering to our Lord in this regard. So I bought 4,000 of them. Let us buy it here at Holy Trinity, 4,000 cards. And last weekend, I, we gave them out as many as we could. And we have a box and some change of some them, of them, which meant we gave out 3,000 cards probably last weekend. And we have maybe a thousand left. So when you come into church, you know, pick up one of these cards if you don't have one, or pick up a couple or several for family members, or maybe a couple for yourself. So uh, plant them wherever you need to have them planted so you can have easy, easy access to them or give them away. Uh, we will keep giving them away. Oh, Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Where is it that you struggle and are, are having stress in your life? Where is it that you said you're gonna let go but keep taking it back? Where are you getting in the way or am I getting in the way of God taking over in my life? This is what this is all about and this is very helpful. I encourage you to consider, if you haven't already, picking up a Surrender Novena card. And more than just picking it up, pray it. Eventually I'll try to help introduce us to a piece of music uh, John Michael Poyer, and I'll try to put a link in the show notes here, the notes on the YouTube video, has, and in combination with me, we had a discussion about creating some music. So taking that refrain and making it into something that you can sing. So I think we can remember things and they are more potent sometimes when we can sing them. You know, a lot of songs have repeating refrains, right? When we repeat, repeat refrains like a, a Hail Mary or this refrain of, Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. 
it helps but in music as augustine tells us when we sing we pray twice and so i think it helps us dig deeper into uh, what it is that we're we're playing we're proclaiming what we're singing so that's my reflection for you today people have been asking because they couldn't hear everything that i shared that's what i was trying to share before and this is more of a long version of that story I continually hear stories of miracles right after the first Saturday here last week. Somebody came the next day and said, there's already been a miracle in our family because of the surrender novena. I'm like, you're kidding, amazing, amazing. Not incredible, meaning not credible or I don't believe. Amazing, I'm in awe, I do believe. God is at work and he's here to help us to let go so that we can surrender into his arms and he can take over. Or do you need to let Jesus take over? Maybe consider engaging in the prayer, the novena, the surrender, the surrender novena. Well, I haven't met the end of masses. See what you know, the, what uh, we have left because a box and a few stacks. And if you need more, we have some at the office, and we can order more. In the meantime, may God bless you, and I hope to see you this weekend. Bye-bye.